guys, thank you for joining The Average Golfer. I'm out here at Conway Golf Club. We're gonna do some on-course testing with these new wedges from TaylorMade. And uh, as ever, at the moment, every video starts off with me going overboard about the way a club looks. But let's throw up some images and let's see who can be critical about the way these mill grind wedges look. Uh, they're just absolutely stunning. I mean, anybody out there that can say a negative about these clubs, I think there's something wrong with you. Because seriously, as wedges go, they tick every single box. The profile of them is absolutely perfect. They're not too bulky, uh, but they've got their confidence inspiring. They're, I love the grind on the bottom of the wedge. I, I've, I love that from the high toe wedges. I think it's just a nice touch. Visually, it does nothing in terms of it's supposed to aid performance, but visually it looks superb. And the back end again, the way it's cambered off and that little bit of high chrome, that's the chrome version. Then you've got this black version. I don't know what it's called technically, but seriously, have a look at that. But it's all about the face and that's what we'll talk about first. But before we go any further, I'm gonna start the video off with the toughest shot up and down that I could possibly have pitched up at. A great decision, and 56 wedge. I struggled to make up and down, but I was happy with that. I uh, misread it a bit, but there you go. What a start. Wonderful morning, 8.15, that's the backdrop. It couldn't be any better at the moment. Uh, I'm loving life here at Conway Golf Club. Anyway, let's talk about this wedge. And the interesting bit that I want to start off with is the face insert, the bit that you're going to hit the ball from. It's a raw finish. Raw finish meaning it's uncoated. Now, this is an interesting fact, and I want you, I want comments down below. Are you aware that every tall player, PGA professional, will play a wedge that is a raw finish? Or in other words, not coated. Did you know that? Comments down below. The reason they do that is because obviously it would aid and assist control and spin in and around the greens. And that's exactly what they've done for average golfers in this mill grind wedge. So the rest of the body, the rest of the, the, rest of the club head is coated and will look shiny and new in your golf bag. But the bit in the middle, the bit that we hit the ball from is a raw finish. And over age, that's gonna rust, it's gonna change color, depending on how well you maintain the club, how much you dry the club off. But that is gonna age and change color. And as soon as you take the wrapper off of these wedges, you run, I run my thumb, I was speaking to someone yesterday, you run your thumb across the wedge face and straight away you can feel, it's abrasive. You can feel a difference and it gives you at least a mindset that surely that's gonna have a positive impact in terms of control and spin in and around the greens, which is effectively what we're looking for from these golf clubs. That's at least what I'm thinking. How does it get on when we get out there on the golf course in reality and start hitting some golf balls? So I think it's about time I shut up and we started doing that. Obviously a lot of different lofts available in the mill grind wedges. I've got a 50 and a 56, that's a 50. I've been playing so that longer one, that's uh, nothing in the way as we've just played there. Um, again, it's, it's all about, for me anyway, it's all about feedback in the short game and the wedges and uh, you get plenty of it from these. Um, one thing I would have been negative about, about previous sort of uh, mill grind wedges and players type wedges if you like so i mean they're all blade like they're all they're, they're all very much a thin top line 
there's no forgiveness in them. I mean, really speaking, and this doesn't need to be a great deal. We're playing a wedge. It's, uh, we shouldn't be too far out the middle with these kind of things in our hands. But this has got a very soft feel, and I'm not saying it's forgiving, but I'd say that, um, again, your question strike. I can't, I'm not measuring strike about where I'm hitting these across the club face, but what I do know is they're all giving a very, very similar feel and sound back into their hands. And again, another positive. And being able to sort of gauge and, and make adjustments um, in terms of what you're getting back from their hands, again, is very, very positive. And I love the fact that every time you hit down on the ball, you just feel it uh, connecting with that golf ball. Right, one thing they've done very well is the shaping and the profile of the club, but also um, the way in which that club head meets the hosel and that ability that you've seen before on a few occasions now to be able to open that club face up or close it down depending on what type of shot you're looking to play for the players that have that capability then you can certainly do that with these wedges um, i'm going to try so we've got 56 wedge now this one if we can float one just a little bit softer up in the air i've given myself two pops at this because uh maybe two is a bit uh, asking a bit too much be nice if we can get uh, first one out the way and uh, call it a wrap Then we'll call it a wrap. Slightly out of the heel as well, would you believe? Um, but again, great, uh, great action on the green there, but slightly out of, uh, of the heel, like I said. And for me, that's that shot where, like I said, I would open that club face up a little bit and try and just chop across it. Uh, but a great result. And the feel thing again, and that's a good point, one to mention, if you see where that's come out, and it's literally right down this bottom corner in terms of uh, in terms of their heel but again uh, I would have never guessed that in terms of feedback into their hands so the old sweet spot thing that I mentioned being perhaps that little bit broader on these uh, was certainly the case there because if you'd have blindfolded me I'd have said that came out of the middle of the club face that's an interesting one I think the motto is quit while you're ahead. Right, well I've done as much as I can out here on the course. It's hard to make uh, wedge videos or wedge reviews interesting. There's not a great deal we can do with them. Uh, but I've done at least what I can out on the course and I think you've got the gist in terms of my opinion But we'll go back inside we'll go into four golf Chester and we'll finish off with a little bit of dry ball data and see what this generates in terms of spin number on this 56 and 50 wedge from TaylorMade Right, okay, so you've seen the performance out there on the course and uh, we need to have a look at some dry ball data and uh, I'll th get straight into this, there's no point in messing around, let's get into the 50 degree wedge and uh, these are full shots, um, nothing fancy about these, these are full on uh, and to be honest with you the first thing I noticed on the 50 was the distance it traveled. These were uh, playing quite long, so I'd have to, again, I think with every set of wedges, you're gonna have to uh, work out your yardages, but this was a long 50 degree wedge for me. Uh, numbers up on screen is uh, 122 on average carry, but the consistency of the carry was incredible. Literally nothing to split the shots that I hit there and every one of them bang out the button. Uh, ball speed almost identical uh, on every one, as was the launch angle uh, and carry distance and the spin number an incredible 10-3 with um, it's just I mean that ball is that ball is stopping on greens um, I don't know about the raw finish but um, the suggestion is like I said from what I've seen in terms of the short game on the course I hit some full wedges in as well which I didn't unfortunately record but uh, plenty of action on them that you're seeing and this raw finish is very interesting for me uh, 56 now in front of you now in terms of the numbers but once again the the impressive thing for me is the consistency um, it really does maintain ball speed across the face very very consistent uh, carry distance again very consistent and long for a 56 again full shot spinning incredible at 12-2 so not 
spin not impacting on carry distance either. Um, the, the thing for me, as I say about consistency, I mentioned it in both in terms of ball speed. Uh, I've been sort of suggesting in previous videos that how you might not look at um, blade like wedges because it's like why make the game so difficult why not go sort of game improvement type wedges but in this what I'm seeing is that there's there's forgiveness across that club face there's ball speeds across the club face and you don't really I've not seen that in wedges before um, in this type of wedge before so everything has got to be bang out the middle and maybe it was just a case of they all came out the middle I don't know but uh, it doesn't normally happen like that for the average golfer um, but the spin number is incredible and uh, I've seen it on the course, the dry ball data came later in terms of uh, in, w in which order this was filmed. So I was expecting to see a high spin number but they're incredibly high and uh, like I said but not spinning the fact that it becomes a floaty ball flight and everything's coming back at you. The ball flight was good and it's still got that spin and incredible um, action on greens. Um, once again, I've done two product reviews today um, from Taylor May. I don't know which way these have come out. P790s, which were again very hard to pick fault with. And I'm afraid to say, for those of you who like to see a review is all about uh, criticism, uh, you're going to be disappointed because uh, you know, it, it looks fantastic, it played fantastic. I ain't picking fault with things that just aren't there. And yet again, that is a tremendous product. If you're looking at wedges, and that's the only thing that matters, you don't go out and swap for any reason other than that. But if you're looking at wedges, then they've thrown in some real interesting products here. And this raw finish is a big deal. And I can tell you now, they're in my bag. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Comments down below, hit the like button, tell me what you think. And uh, I'll see you soon.